Integrated machine control systems in excavators are not new, but John Deere is the latest player in the game with its smart grade technology in the 210G and 350G excavators. The 210G is the subject of today's construction equipment field test at the International Union of Operating Engineers Local 150 in Wilmington, Illinois. Deere's smart grade technology is engineered to automate boom and bucket functions to help operators achieve a smooth, accurate finish grade faster. The machine uses GNSS positioning technology for horizontal and vertical positioning, allowing the boom and bucket movements to follow a precise design target. This means the operator can focus on controlling the arm function while the system raises and lowers the boom to maintain grade. Grade control functions are accessible from the machine's pilot controls. You can see everything's integrated. So these joysticks, it's not like we have extra levers or anything on them. It's the two joysticks and all of the technology controls are integrated into, I think, three buttons, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. So um, you can use a slider and multiple triggers to command about eight different functions of the grade control. Deere has designed a flexible path through grade management for machine owners who may be completely new to integrated machine control or those already familiar with grade control technology. There are four grade management options. Smart grade, smart grade ready with 2D, 3D grade guidance, and 2D grade guidance. The company has made it easy to progress through the technology as job site needs change with different price points and field kits to upgrade the technology all the way to full 3D control. Anhalt explains some of SmartGrade's signature features. Some of the features include, I mean, of course, autos, which is the grade control feature itself, um, benchmarking, so if you are running a 2D system or in 2D mode, you can touch your bucket teeth to the ground, hit one button, and we'll match that grade. So you can set a slope, and this is where you start, one button, and away you go. Now we have a number of other features on this machine. So we have overdig protection. That means we will never let you dig below the specified grade. You can enable that if you want, you can turn it off if you want. So what it seems to be best for is underground utility contractors. Um, if you absolutely do not want to hit any pipes or fiber optic cables or anything underneath you, which I would say most of them don't want to hit those, you can enable overdig protect. Otherwise, if, as long as you have autos on, the bucket teeth will go to grade anyway. So it doesn't interfere with what the operator wants to do. They can still have full control over the machine. So in many cases, if you look at a you know underground contractor with a large concrete pipe, they have a big bell end on them and you have to dig out just a little bit more to keep that on grade and you're gonna have to break the grade. We allow you to do that. So the smart grade tools, um, we try and make it a tool to make your job easier, but we also don't want to limit the abilities of the operator to do what they need to do. Local 150 operator instructor Dave Gottlieb field tested the 210G for ditch work, fine grading, and loading at ADT, both with and without grade control and the various tech features switched on. Technology features include virtual fence technology, such as virtual front, which hydraulically limits and automatically stops the bucket from contacting the front of the machine, and virtual ceiling for protection against overhead objects. There's also virtual floor, virtual swing, and virtual wall. All provide the operator with audible alerts as the machine approaches adjustable set points. The parameters are also shown on the in-cab monitor. Gottlieb says much of the technology would come into play often, for me, most of my experience has been in mass dirt and road work and some runway building, and I think it would be incorporated in almost every aspect of it on an everyday basis. Whether you're cutting to finish grade or you're cutting for sidewalk or you're cutting for whatever road it might be, um, if you're uh, doing any sewer and water, I think that it could also uh, play a factor in that as well. And master aspects of it, you'd be had no trouble digging footings for a building. Um, also too, if you're loading in a pond, uh, it'd be very easy to go ahead and maintain subgrade. And then that way the uh, dozer could actually spend more time doing other things and then it wouldn't require uh, the dozer to come over and clean up for the excavator as often. It would also eliminate a little bit more labor uh, setting stakes. 
So now the excavator operator would also have that uh, ability to see the job inside the excavator versus kind of, you know, basing himself on stakes and the dozer itself. Deer worked with TopCon to develop SmartGrade, though the system is easily adaptable if managers would like to incorporate Trimble or Leica. With the TopCon, I think it stacks up very, very well. Uh, it was a very smooth machine, it ran very nice. Um, it was very comfortable, it had plenty of power. Uh, I, I liked it, I grew to like it. Now it, it only had 100 hours, so there's a lot of machines that are pretty nice when they're new, just like a new car. So, um, you know, I guess it's just a matter of time to see how, how it wears and, you know, go from there, but it was a very nice machine. The one thing I also liked about the technology aspect of it, when you could lock the bucket, I was kind of hesitant on when I would or wouldn't use it or like it, but then I realized, you know, because a lot of times you smooth bucket the bottom of a ditch or smooth bucket the bottom of something where I could take it and lock it in and then it'll hold it no matter what and it won't heal the ground where that's the back side of the bucket will actually go below grade and push the dirt down. Um, it'll stay nice and flat and smooth. I mean, the vision is very nice. I like the size of the... Uh, the GPS box that was on there. To me it seemed perfect. I could maybe see older operators having a little difficulty if they had, uh, you know, vision issues, you know, focus issues. Um, but other than that, I, I felt that it was fine just because it may, it may seem small to say an older operator. Uh, but other than that, I thought it was very user friendly. Uh, I liked the, the cab or the vision up on the top side of the cab. Um, you know, I didn't, I felt very comfortable in the cab, it was very nice, uh, air conditioning, the radio was fine, no, it was, I could definitely see myself sitting in it for 10 hours a day.